Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where we talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. I'm with your boy Latrell. Yeah. Woo, let's go. Now, most of us, when we go to the doctor's office, we try to be on our best behavior. Not Antonio Brown. Homie is just letting it loose. Look at him just smile. And the doctor don't say nothing. <laughs> the doctor don't say uh, nothing. I mean, I wonder how smelly that room must be. Can you imagine? Because that sounds like a wet fort too. So I'm wondering like, how his draws after that. You said, you said, you said, you said a wet fort? A wet fort. A wet fort. A wet fort. That's, okay. Yeah, but you said he made a comment after that, right? Yeah, so the doctor was all like, oh, you know, Antonio was farting in my face. I think it was kind of childish. Not jumping on Antonio Brown's side. However, how are you going to sit up there and say something like that and then you start trying to bust out with the splits and hands <laughs> right after that? Like, we didn't see that in that video. Hold you're on. trying to make it seem like you're professional, but you're not. Let's move on them, Doc. Some shit they never seen. Damn. Look at this dude. Look like, at him. What are you doing? In, in, in a full on suit, just trying to show off some yoga poses. So you ain't that mad. And then you busting the splits at the end of the video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You busting the splits on a handstand like you were stripper. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. Now, some of us, when we go to sleep, we have night terrors or sometimes we even sleepwalk. But here's something I don't think any of us have ever done having a dream that we were on a cargo train and it was a like dangerous situation and Bobby told me, you know, you have to swallow your ring. Just based off of that picture and both times I have seen this video, they are not going to get married. He kind of looks disinterested in that picture and I guess that's supposed to be like the happy picture. I know that's probably bad for me to say, but... And why is she doing this by herself? Yeah, I, well, where is the husband? But, a, no, but no, that's a great point. The husband does not get interviewed in this at all. It, it cannot be a coincidence. Her 007 dream world became a real life emergency. When I woke up and it was not on my hand, I knew exactly where it was. Where was it? It was in my stomach. The couple felt panic, hilarity, then a little bit of both. At 8 a.m., they rushed into urgent care and explained her bizarre situation. The x-ray confirmed her story. Her gastroenterologist suggested an emergency endoscopy. I was really happy because I don't know if I'd ever be able to look at it and appreciate it in the same way if I had had to search for it. Meaning let nature take its course? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when she said if I would have had to get it the other way. I don't know like, if I would have been as appreciative of it. Nah, if I was the man that gave you that ring, you gonna be appreciative of it whether you pissed it out, threw it up, or it came out with, covered in blood. You will be appreciative of that ring. How, you know how much money those rings be causing? And that's some carrots right there. Like that's 2.4. And you swallow it. So then when you poop it out, you better put it right back on your finger with as much pride as it was when you swallowed the damn thing. If anything, I feel like you should appreciate it more after it just went through your whole intestinal yeah. tract and came out your butt. Because, and that might even sting a little bit, might hurt a little bit. So then, uh, you know, you appreciate it more. I feel very grateful that I got it back and that, that it is, it, it does end as a happy, funny story. A happy, funny story. <laughs> that you ate the engagement ring. No, yeah. it ain't. That's why you sit up there by yourself. I don't know, where your man at? Where he at? He ain't there for that. He ain't there for that. He probably already left. He probably already gone. Like, oh, she swallowed the ring. This is my perfect chance to leave. And a reminder to be a bit more careful when going to bed. I have been taking it off at night. Just in case. Just in case. What I want to know is she going to start eating other things, you know, like a wrench. Like maybe she'll swallow a toothbrush when she's sleeping. Or she might even try to stuff a shoe down her throat. Like this could be a real medical concern. I, I just hope she's going to be okay moving forward. You know, we don't want her trying to eat people's fingers off in the middle of her sleep. Now, some of us try to keep the relationships fresh out there. You know, you start thinking about places you could have sex in. This Florida man and woman got frisky in the back of a patrol car after being arrested, according to the Nassau County Sheriff's Office. <laughs> man, just say no. Don't do drugs. Look at the hair and the face. 
Man, they messed her up. They did. They did. It's like most of the stories you hear about Florida. I love this lady. This is, like I said before, I love doing stories in Florida because this lady knows what I'm talking about. She's like, just another story in Florida. While they were waiting to be taken to jail, the sheriff's office says the partners in crime took their clothes off and had sex in the squad car. And had sex in the squad car. That's bold. That's bold. That I mean, I mean, I mean, cause, I mean, because they're probably like, yo, we're gonna go to jail anyways, so we might as well just have our last hurrah. Let's, that is true. Let's just go ahead and have some sex on the car, something we've never done before as a couple. The report says when Thomas was taken out of the patrol car. Yo, this is when you know it's in the middle of nowhere when it says CBS 47. That, that's that. CBS 47. I just noticed that. <laughs> that's when you know you are not a priority to CBS. Okay, in LA is too. Most places it's between like channel two and like 10. You 47, that means you really low on the totem pole as far as markets. He knocked a deputy to the ground and made a run for it through this parking lot naked. He made it to the cold stone before deputies caught up to him. Yeah, I'm about to say he ran pretty far. Yeah, yeah, he, he ran got... pretty far. What is up with y'all Florida police? Y'all can tackle him down? There's businesses, there's people coming and going all the time here. And so I can't imagine that he wasn't noticed as he streaked by. I love <laughs> Susan! I love Susan! I can't imagine he wasn't noticed as he streaked by. Typical Florida, you never know what people are going to do. Susan, I love you because you say what everyone's already thinking. It's wild out there in Florida. Well, she put him over fight than he did, cause I know he he looking all smooth. Yeah, he, he she, like yeah, it was good. Like he, he out here trying to take headshots. He's like, yo, I'm trying to go viral, you know, like that other dude, like Jeremy Weeks. Like, yo, what's up? And she yeah. and she kind of fight. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. The viral victory of the week goes to the Chicago Bulls logo. So apparently, some Reddit user happened to come across the Chicago Bulls logo and turned it upside down. And I guess. A lot of people are saying that it looks like a robot is having sex with a crab. With a crab. With a, with crab. a crab. With a crab. Others are saying it looks like a robot is trying to read a book or even the Bible. You know what? When I thought about this, I didn't think of a crab. I didn't. Th I didn't think of a crab. I oh, just, what were you thinking? I just thought it was like a back, a, a, a robot having sex with a person. Like this part right here, the ears or the legs. And the little, the you know, the wrinkles on the forehead will be like the back and, you know, kind of like a, you know. You so it's so like a cut off person, like a half of a person. Yeah, it's like the half a person. Yeah. I mean, I think they should just use this for the Roshar inkblot test where in like they just show you random ambiguous images and whatever you see is supposed to conjure up like what's going on inside of you. Yeah. So like some people think it's like a robot reading other people think more sexually. So it kind of all depends. But I mean, I think one thing we can all agree on, some of y'all got too much time on your hands. Too much. Like this this logo has been too out much. for like three decades. How much time do you have on your hands? <laughs> that clearly shows you're not taking your ass outside <laughs> and doing anything. Thank you for watching another episode of Pick and Pop with your boy Latrell. Yeah, yeah. Woo, make sure to share, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Yeah. Till next time, Lego.